Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liz of Chicago Law Luxury Makeup. For today's video, we are talking all about the brand new Chanel Le Beige collection. I picked up two of the brand new Healthy Glow Sun Kissed powders as well as three of the brand new eyeshadows. So we're going to be using those today to create a full face of Chanel. So if you're curious to hear my thoughts on this brand new collection and see how I created this full face of Chanel, keep watching. Today we are talking all about the brand new Chanel. I picked up two of the brand new Le Beige powders. I picked up three of the single eyeshadows. I cannot wait to use them. Of the five Le Beige shades, I picked up medium, rose gold, and deep mauve. So we're going to open up both of those. I'm going to put one on each cheek so we can compare. And then like I said, I picked up three eyeshadows. I'm not certain that we'll be able to create a look just using these three shadows, but we're definitely going to try. We're definitely going to try. I will also do a few swatch comparisons of the single shadows to other single shadows that I have in my collection, and then just kind of incorporate in a full face of Chanel. So we're going to go ahead and I'm just going to start with my base makeup. I'm going to do it really, really quick because nothing that I'm going to be wearing is new. Everything is old, but I want to quickly get to this new. I'm really, really excited to try out both of these new Le Beige products and see how they work. Because if they're good, you guys, I want to get another shade. I really, really do. That medium coral just looks beautiful. It really, really does. Like I said, I'm going to first start with my base makeup and we're going to do it very, very quickly. I'm going to go in with the Le Beige Winter Glow Primer and this is in shade Icy Beige. Now, if you guys follow me over on Instagram, I was saying that I was able to pick up a backup of this primer. When we were traveling back to the United States from Mexico, they had it at the duty free store at the airport and I, I bought another one. I could not resist. I honestly could not resist. This is one of my favorite, favorite new products that Chanel came out with. I just think that it is absolutely beautiful. For foundation today, I'm going to be using the Ultra Latente and I have shade B30. So like I said, I'm just going to speed through this part. Um, I just completely, completely sprayed foundation all over my shirt. You guys, it, I pray that it doesn't stain. I really do. Um, I squeezed a little bit out onto the back of my hand and I am just going to quickly apply this and put some music over it. I'm going to go in with concealer and I'm just going to use the low corrector and this is in shade B20. So I just took my brush and I'm using whatever's left over on my brush as a primer for my eyes today. My Chanel cream shadow is downstairs in my car. I forgot to bring out my makeup and so I'm just going to be using concealer on my eyes as my primer today. Because I want to see the true color of these new Le Beige powders, I'm not going to go in with a cream contour or a cream bronzer. I am very lightly going to put some powder on my face and for powder today, I'm just going to be using the Sisley Loose Powder. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up both of these new Le Beige powders. This is the Healthy Glow Sun kissed powder and again I have shade medium rose gold and deep mauve. I'm going to start with the medium rose gold. I have already unboxed it and taken some photos and this shade came broken. I do not do not know what it is with me in makeup but my vibrato came broken. One of the pieces for my Dolce Gabbana came broken and now this came broken so you guys, I'm not, I am not happy, but this is what it looks like. And I'm going to very carefully swatch it for you. Um, but I'm not really going to be able to show you much else because it is broken. And I have reached out to my sales associate to let her know she is off. And so as soon as she gets back into work, she said she would uh, reach back out. So I'm going to start with the highlighting shade. Oh yeah, I mean that completely disintegrated when I touched it. So that is the highlight shade and that's, that is pretty deep. I mean, I think that's actually too deep for me to wear as a highlight. 
This is the bronze shade. It's very, very creamy and very soft, which I think is why it broke. Here's the pink blush shade. The blush is not that deep when you look at how deep the highlighter is. So I think that that's kind of interesting that the highlighter is pretty deep, but the blush isn't. Um, honestly, I think if I were to wear this particular palette, I would swirl everything together and wear it just as one. So I'm gonna do that right now with my finger, just kind of run it back and forth. And that's what it looks like when it's all mixed. I think that that's really, really pretty. The new Dior bronzer has that kind of mix of all those shades. I mix them all together and use it. The Meteorites, the one in the amber, which I've been using as a bronzer, kind of has a little bit of that pink mix into it. I just mix them all together. The new Guerlain bronzer is the same. It's got that peach and the peach slash coral and the pink and the bronze all mixed together. And again, I just swirl my brush and use them all together. So I think that that's what I would do with this as well. I think it's going to be really, really pretty. I don't think I would use this one broken up individually. I'm going to try my best to use it, but because it's so broken and there's like all these little pieces, I don't know how it's going to work in the pickup with the brush. Put that off to the side and I'll go ahead and open up Deep Mauve. So again, you have the really, really big packaging, which not mentioned before, but this is an eye cheek palette and that came out last year. So those are the same size of packaging. Also, if you have the LeBeige bronzer that came out last year, it's the same size as that as well. So it's that oversized package, which honestly, I would rather have smaller sizes. I'm never, ever going to use this full size. And even if I wasn't a content creator and I was just a regular person, I don't think I would still get through one of these oversized packages or the oversized products. You get 15 grams of product and it is made in Italy. So here is the deep mauve. So here is the highlight shade, the bronzer shade, and the blush. But I thought that this highlight shade would be a beautiful illuminating blush which is why i picked this up i did not pick this up to use it as a highlight bronzer blush i honestly picked it up to mix these two shades to make a beautiful beautiful blush and then maybe use this deep shade as a contour so let's go ahead and swatch i'm going to start out with the highlight which did not work all right, we're going to start over, and this is the highlight. So that is a beautiful pink. Here is that brown. I think that would be beautiful as an eyeshadow. Wow. That would be gorgeous as an eyeshadow. So it definitely is going to get used. I don't think I'll be able to use that on my face. I think it would be a little bit too deep. And this blush, wow, that looks deep too. Very, very pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna just kind of mix all three together. I ran out of room, you guys, I'm sorry. It definitely lightens it, but I still think it might be a little bit too deep for the cheek. So I think if you are someone with a deeper complexion, this would be beautiful on you, absolutely beautiful. For me, it's gonna be a blush and like an, an outer corner eyeshadow shade. But again, there is the swatches of the new Le Beige powders. You guys, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get into these. Chanel on their website described these as using the Chanel number no. 106 brush. I have a Chanel powder brush. It does not say what number it is anywhere on it, but it is kind of tapered the way the 106 brush is. So that's what we're going to use today. I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know if this is the 106 brush or what brush this is, but it's a Chanel powder brush and we're going to use it for the medium rose gold. I, like I said, I'm just going to mix all the shades together, especially since this palette is broken. It is pretty powdery. It's giving me pretty nice pickup in the pan. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like the LeBeige, all the other LeBeige makeup. And that is beautiful. Okay, that is really, really pretty. I have not watched any videos on this product yet because I wanted to form my own opinion. I wanted to let you guys know my honest thoughts, 
not what anyone else is thinking. Oh, I like it. I really, really like that. I like it a lot. So now I'm gonna take a little bit smaller brush and I'm gonna try just to go into the blush shade, just to try and build this up with some blush. I love it. I really, really do. I'm going back and getting that medium coral. I'm doing it, but I also, I also wanted the light coral because I thought that the light coral, the highlight shade looked really, really pretty, but I have to choose. I can't get all of them. That would be ridiculous. I cannot do it. I just can't do it. So I think I'm going to just stick to the medium coral. I'm going to get it. You guys, this is really, really pretty. So now I'm going to try out this deep mauve and I, I'm going to try and just mix that blush and that highlighter together and see what they look like. I'm going to take that smaller tapered brush. This is a Chikahoto brush and I'm going to try and avoid the brown. That might be a little bit too deep for me. All right. That is a little bit deep. That is deep. That might be too deep for me. I'm so glad that I started with the medium rose gold. That is gorgeous. That is so, so pretty. The deep mauve is way too deep for me. That is, it is too deep for me. I thought that I would be able to make it work. I am not certain that I will be able to. That is really, really deep. I'm gonna take this Chanel powder brush because it's a little bit thicker and it's gonna diffuse the product a little bit better than the smaller brush. The smaller brush was a little bit denser and it was a little bit more tightly packed, the bristles were, so it was gonna give me more product. It would not diffuse it as much as this big brush. So going back in with the fluffier brush definitely helped. It's definitely wearable now. Now I could leave the house wearing this shade. And honestly, once I blended that out, it is beautiful. All right. So note to self, do not use a smaller denser brush. Use a fluffy brush. Wow. I love these. I really, really do. I am shocked. Beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. Tell me down below what shades did you guys pick up? Have you tried them? Do you love them? If you don't love them, try a different brush. I am blown away. I really, really like these. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. I am very, very, very disappointed because this is what this one looks like now. Just from me trying to swatch it, it just crumbled. It absolutely crumbled. It is so, so soft. So I am keeping the protective lid on it and I'm just gonna keep it here off to the side. I think it is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Even that deep mauve, once I blended it out, is beautiful. I, you guys, I'm like grinning from ear to ear. I really, really like them. To these eyeshadows, I picked up three shades. They aren't even the three shades that I wanted. They just aren't. I told my sales associate which shades that I wanted and of those, she had one. So then I went back and I was like, all right, I want this one. And then she's like, I don't have that one either. And I was like, okay, tell me what you do have. <laughs> so I have three shades. Like I said, we might end up using the brown from this deep mauve shade to kind of add in because all the shades that I got are pretty light. I picked up shade 234 beige sable, and that is a satin. I picked up 238 quartz fume, which is also a satin. And I picked up 242 beige suede, which is a matte. Go in order. I'll open them and swatch them for you. Now the eyeshadows come in individual little felt bags. The powders did not come in any sort of protective cover. The eyeshadows are in a standard black Chanel case with the white CCs. So here is beige sable. And again, this is a satin. 238 is quartz fume. And again, this is a satin. So I thought that one was going to be more taupey. Maybe the taupe one they were out of. And then 242. 
So that is the only matte that I picked up. We're going to start with that again. There were other shades that I wanted. They were not in stock. So I do plan on picking those up from the Chanel.com website. So we're going to start with this shade right here. This is again 242 Beige Suede. Use a BK Beauty 201 to apply. I mean, that's really, really light, you guys. I don't even see it. Now, there is something going on with my eyes. You guys, I have some sort of reaction to something. I don't know what. But my eyes are like super, super dry. Almost like an eczema flare-up, but I don't have eczema. So I think it's a just like an allergic reaction to something. So they're very, very dry. They're getting better. I see a weird patchiness. It is my eye, not the shadows. All right, so I was able to build that up and I guess I see it. It's just kind of very, very skin-like. But the formula was very, very nice. I will say that, it was very, very nice. I'm gonna take a Chanel blending brush and I'll go in with that Quartz Fume. And I'll start on the outer corner with that shade, but we're going to move it into the crease. So I really thought that this was like a taupe shade. I do have a permanent single Chanel eyeshadow that's a taupe shade. And I really thought that that's what this is. This is not at all. This is like more of a khaki. So with this satin, you can start to see the dryness of my eye. So I just want you to know that that is my eye, not the shadow itself. The shadow itself is really, really nice. That's very, very pretty. So I am gonna go into this Deep Moth palette. And I'm gonna take a Sonia G Mini Booster and I'm just very lightly gonna pick up a little bit of the brown. Just for the outer corner. Even though I'm just picking up the brown, it's almost like there's a little bit of the pink in there. I don't know, it's pretty. I like it. I'm gonna go back with that BK Beauty 201 to just blend. All right, now I'm gonna go in with Beige Sable and I'm going to take that in the inner corner. This shade's all right. I don't think I would recommend this particular shade. It's really not doing anything for me. That quartz fume I thought was very, very, very pretty, and it surprised me the most. I really, really like that one. So again, I'm just gonna go in and blend. I think it is very, very pretty. I am very impressed. I really, really like those shadows. I would definitely go back and purchase more. Honestly, I think that they are really, really pretty. I think that this shade is just, it's not for me. The formula is nice. It's the shade. The shade is just too plain. It just doesn't do anything for me. We do have a few single shadows from Chanel that I want to do swatch comparisons for you. Maybe you have these, you know, just so you can see the similarities. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put some eyeliner mascara on, and then we'll be back and I will do a few of those swatch comparisons. All right. So here are my five single Chanel shadows. Four of them are limited edition. They were holiday shades that came out a few years ago. And then one is the permanent one. I'm only going to swatch the ones that I think that might be similar. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all of them just so you see. This is number 925 or Antique. 
and I don't think that that would be similar to anything that I picked up, so I'm not going to swatch it. This is 927 Couvre Rose, which is not similar to anything that I picked up, but I did want to show you what it looks like. This is Aura Blanc, and I am going to swatch this one. So that one's really pretty. It's almost like a mix between Beige Sable and the Quartz Fume. And then the last limited edition one that I have is Bure Brune. I'm probably butchering that. And I will swatch that even though I don't think it's going to be similar. That is beautiful. Okay, this is a reminder that I need to get these shadows out. Those are so, so pretty. And the permanent one that I have is a taupe and it's shade number 14, Talpa. So none of the single shadows that I have are anything like this, which is good. I just have to remember to reach for them. I just don't reach for single shadows. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. Absolutely nothing. They are beautiful. I just don't reach for them enough. And I need to because those limited edition ones look gorgeous. And I forgot how pretty they were. So that is my reminder to take out these single shadows. And we cannot have any full face of Chanel without some Chanel lipstick. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the Chanel lip liner. This is number 164 Pavone. And then I have a Chanel lipstick Mademoiselle shade 434. Here is the finished look, full face of Chanel using the brand new Chanel eyeshadows and the brand new Chanel Healthy Glow powders. What do you guys think? I think it is beautiful absolutely beautiful i am so so impressed i'm definitely going back and getting that medium coral i'm definitely going back and picking up some more eyeshadows so but let me know what you guys think now chanel also came out with some new fragrance oils i have not picked those up you guys i don't know that i will they are a really really hefty price tag but i thought i would go ahead and finish this look off with my chanel Le Beige illuminating oil that is it let me know down below what you thought what did you guys pick up have you tried them yet i cannot wait to hear what your thoughts are i want to thank you all so much for watching i really do appreciate it i hope everyone is staying safe and healthy and i will see you in my next video